Hello, welcome back to our little channel here. Thank you for those who are following us on our little journey and obviously any new subscribers really appreciate it. What I want to do today is talk about some privacy blinds I've just recently made. We often have our swivel seat turned around, but obviously because we have a curtain that divides the cab from the living area, we don't actually have any privacy when we're sitting in here. So what I've actually done, I've made some blinds which using magnets that actually allow us to attach them to our windows really simply around the metal framework. And obviously the windscreen doesn't have a frame, but I'll show you how I've done that. Then. So with these, the magnets actually in the corners, we just attach it to the metalwork. Which makes it really simple for applying and also taking off. So that is simply how you apply them to the window. And obviously to remove them, they just come off, so it's nice and simple. Now this is actually a polyester fabric, which I'll explain later as I'll, as I'll show you how I made them. It's not blackout, we actually consider doing blackout, but um, it's quite a difficult sort of thing. And obviously you want it light, because if it's too heavy, it will just pull itself off the magnets. So if I've gone for a really light material, and I say, and I didn't want black, because during the day it would just draw too much heat into the van. Hence why we went for this sort of bluey color. So really we're calling them privacy blinds, as opposed to uh, blackout blinds. Yeah, so they actually, need to be small enough to fit in the bag really. Yeah, we've made a little bag for them which again I'll show you when I've made them they fit into. So let me show you how I now fit them to the windscreen. So with the motion fitting to the windscreen again once I do it I'll show you how I made them but I've attached some poppers with some reinforced area so when you pull the popper off it doesn't tear the fabric. So I've got two poppers top and bottom which is affixed to the A pillar and you buy these poppers and the one actually on the windscreen because there's nothing to attach it to what I've done is I've just sewn some straps on the ends of the blinds, which then just neatly plug over the top there and fit along the headrest. You can just pull this up and tuck it up nice and neat. And so you just pull that back to where the popper is. And there we are, nice and neat. Easy. Easy to do, it's so simple. And so the joy being obviously if it's raining, when we did have the one on the outside, which was the big thermal one, but we found obviously if it's raining or it's cold and windy, You've got to go outside and put it on and remove it and also as we put some little wind deflectors on our windows which these are nice and small they fit into a bag and uh, simple to, to put on so stay with us i'll show you how i make it so having laid some paper onto the van which has given me the perfect templates of the windows themselves so you can see the windscreen and just one side door because obviously i'm just going to reverse it to do the other side what i've actually had to do is as i've actually drawn around it. I noticed some of the areas is going to be quite tight so put little arrows on here which just tells me to add a little bit more fabric those for in order to do a turn up and add the magnets but that's a really simple way of getting a perfect outline of your windscreen and the door and the door windows. Give me chalk. Don't have to be too neat on cutting it because I am going to be turning over and creating the hem so it'll tidy it up anyway. Okay so I've cut them both out now because I'm doing double thickness I'm having to lay one on top of the other and I'm going to sew the two together. So what I've done is I've just laid one over the top and just put some pins in it to hold it with a small line around the outside just to help guide me while I'm sewing it. But this is the windscreen one so this one doesn't actually need any magnets. So this one is just simply a case of sewing the two together. Then I've got the two smaller ones to do, but I do have to incorporate magnets in them, so I'll show you how I'm going to do that.
Okay, so the way I want these to work is I want to incorporate these little tiny magnets, which I want to put inside the actual lining, so that these will then stick to the frame around the window. So what I've got to now do is just do a secondary line. So there's the main stitch. I'm going to put a secondary line in, which will then bed that inside there, which will then allow me to attach it to the window. So it's all trying now. I've not done this before. So uh, let's give that a try. Do a second line and see if we can put some magnets in. Okay, so I've fed all the magnets now into the seams, as you can see here. There's a magnet there, 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 and there, and so on. And I've got, I've ended up putting nine magnets in. You don't need anything on the bottom because the bottom bit just sits on the top of the trim, plastic trim. You only really need them down this side here and along around the top. And down here there is one because it fits the edge of the trim there. Okay, so now that the magnets are all in, I did intentionally leave a little gap down here, and the reason being this now needs to be turned inside out. Uh buddy. I'm trying to do something, but oh no, but um uh, can you come over here please? Come over here. Good boy, good boy. So yes, so I've left a little gap in the bottom here, which allows me to. Uh, buddy, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to do something, buddy. I'm gonna have to come back to you guys. Mm -hmm. So there we go. That's our finished blind. Looks quite neat. So the magnets are all encased in here. You can't see them, but they're all obviously out here. So along the top here, you can feel them as you run your hand along. So as you can see, it's double skinned, offering a little bit more blackout privacy but it's not really a blackout blind it does let some light through but now we're going to go fit into the van and see what they look like okay so i'm just going to put a few stitches uh, along the top of the windscreen one this is holds a strap so um, i'll explain it when we put it into the van but i need to sew a strap in and i've also sewn some small um, ex i suppose reinforcement areas where i need to put the poppers because i feel the fabric could actually tear so i'm just going to sew this in now on the top here Okay, that's sewn in, so we'll go out soon and test it. So what I now need to do, I actually want to put some poppers, which are these simple things. You can buy them on, I think I bought them off eBay for around £5 for 50 So what we've got to do, we've got to put that popper onto there. So I've cut a little hole, you put the popper through first, then you put the lip to piece on that up there. And it comes with a little kit and the idea is you put the head into there and then this tool that you have you basically um, hit the top of that and it spreads it effectively spreads this piece out it spreads that out so it ends up gripping this top piece so they don't come apart but obviously I can't do it on my floor here so uh, what I'm going to do I'll take it to the garage and I'm going to do all those but that's a simple as we need to do and then this, we then screw this piece we're going to be screwing this one onto the uh, pillar in the van, which is effectively what that lips onto. So it's all pretty straightforward. So that's my job now. Just whilst I had the sewing machine out, I thought I'd just make a quick little bag to keep them in. Just use magnetic poppers to seal it.